All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just hope that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord be with you, that he guides you, he protects you, he comforts you. He pours out his love to you, he pours out his spirit towards you. Um, you stay in his presence, you keep him first. I hope that your mental health gets better. I hope that whatever is not in your control, you give it to the Father's hands, you put it in the Lord's hands, that you cast all your cares upon him, you cast all your anxieties on him, and you submit to him, and in due time, he will exalt you. And I just hope that your life just gets better day by day, all right? Now, in today's message, I'm going to also continue the prayer book, just going to continue reading it throughout this week, because we're almost done with this series, so I just really wanted to run through this book, because I got at fellowship a few weekends ago on the Sabbath service, so I just want to really get through it and share it with you all. And also, I just want to spread hope, love, and encouragement to all of you out there who are going through different things in your life, all right? It will get better when you trust in the Lord, okay? So let us not operate out of fear. Let's operate out of a strong mind. Uh, you know, let us operate off of love, power, and a sound mind, all right? So I'm going to go through this prayer book and then close out and just wrap it up from there, all right? So here we go. Morning service for Yom Kippur. Weekday. Reader and choirster open the Holy of Holies. Then the Ark. Congregation stand. Reader and choirster return to their podiums. Reader. How excellent is how excellent is thy loving kindness, O God. Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and shall make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. For with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee, and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Anthem. I love thy church, O God. Prayer. Almighty God, we have come into thy sanctuary to commune with thee. Be thou our strength, our hope, our God. Give purpose to our work, meaning to our struggle, and direction to our striving. Cause us to understand that only through human betterment True fellowship and deeds of kindness can we feel thy presence. May this day of atonement bring peace to our hearts and strengthen our desire to live in peace with all our fellow men. Amen. Amen. Song. One thing have I desired of the Lord. The ark is closed. Congregation be seated. Scripture. Psalm 51. Reader. Opens the ark. After scripture. Congregation stand. Song. Have mercy upon me. The ark is closed. Congregation be seated. Shema benediction. Remember God the Lord of all over God the Lord over all works. Blessed is he, yea, blessed by the mouth of everything that has breath. His greatness and goodness fill the universe. Knowledge and understanding surround him. The luminaries are good, which our God hath created. He formed them with knowledge, understanding, and discernment. He gave them might and power to rule in the midst of the world. They are full of luster. They radiate brightness. Beautiful is their luster over all the earth, all the world. They rejoice in their going forth and are glad in their coming in, performing with all the will of their master. Thou givest light and mercy to the earth and to them that dwell thereon. And in thy goodness renewest the creation every day continually. How great are thy works, O Lord! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy possessions. O king, thou alone hast been exalted in your, praised, glorified, and extolled from days of old. O everlasting God, in thine abundant mercies have mercy upon us. Rock of our stronghold, shield. Yes, yeah. Shield of salvation. O thou stronghold around us. The blessed God, who is great in knowledge, has the has designed and made the radiance of the sun. The beneficent one had wrought glory unto his name. He has set luminaries around his strength. Chiefs of holy host continually declare the high praises of the Almighty, the glory of God and his holiness. Be thou blessed, O Lord our God, for the excellency of thy handiwork and for the bright luminaries which thou hast made. They shall glorify thee. Be thou blessed, O our rock, our king and redeemer, Creator of holy beings, praised be thy name forever. O our King, creator of ministering angels, who stand in the heights of the universe and together proclaim with awe, aloud the words of the living God and everlasting King. 
All of them are beloved. All of them are pure. All of them are mighty. All of them are mighty, and all of them in dread and awe. Do the will of their master. All of them open their mouths in holiness and purity with song and song and bless and praise, glorify and reverence, sanctify and ascribe servanty to the name of God, the great, mighty and awful king, awesome king, holy is he. And they all take upon themselves the yoke of the kingdom of heaven, one from the other, and they give leave one to the other to declare the holiness of their creator and tranquil spirit. With pure speech and holy melody, they all respond in unison and exclaim with awe. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Song. Shema. Reader. Shema. Yisrael. Adonai. Eleheinu. Adonai. Akkad. Akkad. Eleheinu. Gadol. Adonaiu. Kadosh. Shemo. Reader and congregation. Hear, O Israel. The Lord is our God. The Lord is one. One is our God. Great is our Lord. Holy is his name. Reader, blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. Reader, and it shall come to pass if ye will hearken diligently unto my commandments, which I command to you this day to love the Lord your God and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, that I will give the rain of your land in its season, that thou may gather in thy corn and in thy wine and thine oil. And I will send grass in thy fields for thy cattle, that thou may eat and be satisfied. Take heed to yourselves that your heart be not deceived. And ye turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. And the Lord's wrath be kindled against you. And he shut up the heaven and there be no rain. And that the land yield not her fruit. And ye per perish quickly from the good land which the Lord giveth you, giveth you. Therefore shall ye lay up. These words in your heart and in your soul, and bind them up, and bind them for a sign. Bind them for a sign on your hand, and they shall be frontless between your eyes. And ye shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sit in thine house, and when you walk by the way, and when thou lays down, and when thou rises up. And thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thine house and upon thy gates, that your days may be multiplied and the days of your children in the land which the Lord swore to, to your fathers to give them, as the days of the heavens upon the earth. Amen. Amen. The ark is open. Congregation stand. Song. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The Shema. The ark is closed. Congregation be seated. Responsive reading. Reader. True and faithful is all of this, and it is established with us that he is the Lord our God, and there is none beside him, and that we, Israel, are his people. Congregation, it is he who redeemed us from the hand of kings. He is our king who delivered us from the hand of all of the terrible ones. Reader, the God who on our behalf dealt retribution to all our adversaries and requited all the enemies of our soul. Congregation, who doeth great things past finding out, and marvelous things without number? Reader, who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the mighty ones? Who is like unto thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Congregation, thy children beheld thy sovereign power as thou did cleave the sea before Moses. They exclaimed, This is my God, and said, The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Reader, and it is said, for the Lord has delivered Jacob and redeemed him from the hand that was stronger than he. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who has redeemed Israel. Reader and congregation, cause us, O Lord, our God, to lie down in peace and raise us up. O our king unto life and spread over us the canopy of thy peace. Direct us with thy counsel and save us for the sake of thy name. Song, the ark is opened. Congregation stand. Reader. Eternal God, open thou my lips, that my mouth may declare thy praise. Amida, standing prayer, read silently. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, who bestoweth loving kindness, who remembers the good deeds of our forefathers, and who will bring a redeemer to their children's children for the sake of thy name. Remember us to life, O King, inscribe us in the book of life for thy sake. O ever-living God, blessed art thou, O Lord, 
shield of Abraham. Thou art mighty forever. Thou revivest the dead. Thou art powerful to save. Thou sustain the living, supports the falling, heals the sick, sets the captives free, and keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like thee, O Lord, our God? Thou art holy, and thy name is holy, and holy beings praise thee daily, for there is no God but thee. Thou, Lord, our God, has graciously given us this day of atonement, wherein our iniquities are to be pardoned and forgiven, a holy festival in remembrance of the exodus from Egypt, our God and God of our fathers. Pardon our iniquities on this day of atonement. Blot out and remove our transgressions and sins from thy night, from thy sight, as it is said, I will forgive their iniquities and I will remember their sin no more. On this day shall atonement be made to cleanse you from all your sins. Shall you be clean before the Lord? O Lord, our God, inscribe thy people of the covenant for a happy life. Grant abundant peace to Israel, thy people forever, for thou art the king and Lord of peace. May we in all Israel, thy people, be remembered and inscribed before thee in the book of life for prosperity, for blessing, and for peace. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the author of peace. Reader, amen, amen. The ark is closed. Congregation be seated. Song, reader, we are brazen-faced, but thou art merciful and compassionate. We are stiff-necked, but thou art long-suffering. We are full of sin, but thou art full of mercy. As for us, our days are as a shadow, but thou art immutable, and thy years never ending. Our God and God of our fathers, let our prayer come before thee. Hide not thyself from our supplication, for we are not arrogant and stiff-necked, that we should say before thee, O Lord your God and God of our fathers, we are righteous and have not sinned. Verily we have sinned. Reader and Congregation we have trespassed, we have dealt treacherously, we have robbed, we have spoken slander, we have acted perversely and have wrought wickedness, we have acted presumptuously, we have done violence, we have framed lies, we have con counseled evil, we have spoken falsely, we have scoffed, we have provoked, we have rebelled, we have committed iniquity, we have transgressed. We have oppressed, we have been stiff-necked, we have acted wickedly, we have corrupted, we have committed ab abomination, we have gone astray, we have led others astray, we have turned away from thy commandments and thy judgments that are good and that not profited us, but thou art righteous in all that has come upon us, for thou acted truthfully, but as for us, we have done wickedly, we have acted wickedly and tr have transgressed, therefore, wherefore we have not been saved. O oh, incline our hearts to forsake the path of wickedness and hasten thy salvation unto us, as it is written by the hand of thy prophet. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and unto God, for he will abundantly pardon. Reader, our God and God of our fathers, forgive and pardon our iniquities on this day of atonement. O be thou entreated for us, forgive our transgressions and our sins, and cause them to pass away before thine eyes. Subdue our hearts to serve thee, and bend our will to turn to thee. Renew our reins to observe thy precepts, and circumcise our hearts to love and rever thy name, as it is written in thy law. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thy heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that thou may live. Song, Scripture, Reader Opens the Ark After Scripture, Congregation Stands. Song, During Song, Reader Requires to Close the Ark, Then the Holy of Holies, Congregation Be Seated, Sermon, Song, The Mizpah. All right. Morning Service for Yom Kippur, Sabbath. Reader Requires to Open the Holy of Holies, Then the Ark. Congregation stand. Reader and choirster return to their podiums. Reader, how excellent is thy loving kindness, O God. Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and shall make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. For with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee, and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Anthem, I love thy church, O God.
prayer. Almighty God, we have come into thy sanctuary to commune with thee. Be thou our strength, our hope, our guide. Give purpose to our work, meaning to our struggle, and direction to our striving. Cause us to understand that only through human betterment, true fellowship, and deeds of kindness can we feel thy presence. May this Sabbath and this day of atonement bring peace to our hearts and strengthen our desire to live in peace with all our fellow men. Amen. Amen. Song. One thing have I desired of the Lord. The ark is closed. Congregation be seated. Scripture. Psalm 51. Rita opens the ark after scripture. Congregation stand. Song. Have mercy upon me. Reader closes the ark after song. Congregation be seated. Reader, all shall give thanks unto thee, and all that praise thee, and all shall say, There is none holy like the Lord. All shall extol thee, thou creator of all, O God, who opens every day the doors of the east, and cleavest the windows of the firmament, bringeth forth the sun from this place, and the moon from her dwelling, giving light to thee, giving light to the whole world, and inhabitants thereof, whom thou hast created by the attribute of mercy and mercy thou givest light to the earth and to them that dwell thereon and in thy goodness renewest the creation every day continually o king thou alone hast been exalted of yore praised glorified and extolled from the days of old o everlasting god in thine abundant mercies have mercy upon us lord of our strength rock of our stronghold shield of our salvation o thou stronghold Around us, there is none to be compared unto thee, neither is there any beside thee. There is none but thee, who is like unto thee. There is none to be compared unto thee, O Lord our God. In this world, neither is there any beside thee, O our King, for the life and the world to come. There is none but thee, O our Redeemer. For the days of the Messiah, neither, neither is there any like unto thee. O our Savior, for the resurrection of the dead. To God who rested from all his work and on the seventh day exalted himself and sat upon the throne of his glory, who robed himself in majesty on the day of rest and called the Sabbath a delight. This is the praise of the seventh. This is the praise of the seventh day that God has rested thereon from all his work. And the seventh day uttered praise and said a psalm, a song for the Sabbath day. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Therefore, let all his creatures glorify and bless God. Let all them render praise, honor, and greatness unto God, the King and Creator of all, who in his holiness given an inheritance of rest upon unto his people Israel on the holy Sabbath day. Thy name, O Lord our God, shall be sanctified, and thy remembrance, O our King, shall be glorified in heaven above and on earth beneath. Be thou blessed, O our Savior. For the excellency of thy handiwork, and for the bright luminaries which thou hast made, they shall glorify thee. Be thou blessed, O our rock, our king, and our redeemer, creator of holy beings. Praise be thy name forever, O our king, creator of ministering angels, those ministering angels, and stand in the heights of the universe, and together proclaim with awe aloud the words of the living God and everlasting king. All of them are beloved, all of them are pure. All of them are mighty, and all of them in dread and awe do the will of their master. All of them open their mouths in holiness and purity, with song and psalm, and bless and praise, glorify and reverence, sanctify and ascribe sovereignty. To the name of God, the great, mighty, and awful King, amazing King, the awesome King, holy is He, and they all take upon themselves the yoke of the kingdom of heaven, one from the other, and they give leave, one unto the other to declare the holiness of their creator in tranquil spirit with pure speech and holy melody they all respond in unison and exclaim with awe holy 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 is the lord of hosts the whole earth is full of his glory song shema reader shema yisrael adonai elohenu adonai akkad akkad elohenu gadol adonai kadosh Shemo, reader and congregation, hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one, one is our God, great is our Lord, holy is his name. Reader, blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. 
Reader, and it shall come to pass if ye will hearken diligently unto my commandments, which I command you this day, to love the Lord your God and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, that I will give the rain of your land in its season, thou may remember, thou may gather in thy corn and thy wine and thine oil. And I will send grass in thy fields for thy cattle, and thou may eat and be satisfied. Take heed to yourselves that your heart be not deceived, and ye turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. And the Lord's wrath be kindled against you, and he shut up the heaven, and there be no rain, and that the land yield not her fruit, and ye perish quickly from the good land which the Lord giveth you. Therefore shall ye lay up these words in your heart and in your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your hand, and they shall be front for frontlets between your eyes, and ye shall teach them to your children. Speaking of them, when thou sit in the house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thine house, and upon thy gates, that your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give them, as the days of the heavens upon the earth. Amen. Amen. The ark is open, congregation stand. Song. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, the Shema. The ark is closed, congregation be seated. Responsive reading. Reader, true and faithful is all of this, and it is established with us that he is the Lord our God, and there is none beside him, and that we, Israel, are his people. Congregation, it is he who redeemed us from the hand of kings. He is our king who delivered us from the hand of all the terrible ones. Reader, the God who on our behalf dealt retribution to all our adversaries and requited all the enemies of our soul. Congregation, who doeth great things past finding out and marvelous things without number. Reader, who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the mighty ones? Who is like unto thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Congregation, Thy children beheld thy they, thy servant servant power as thou did cleave the sea before Moses. They exclaimed, "This is my God," and said, "The Lord shall reign for ever and ever." Reader, and it is said, "For the Lord has delivered Jacob and redeemed him from the hand that was stronger than he." Blessed art thou, O Lord, who has redeemed Israel. Reader and congregation. Cause us, O Lord our God, to lie down in peace, and raise us up, O our King, unto life and spread over us the canopy of thy peace. Direct us with thy counsel, and save us for the sake of thy name. Song. The ark is open. Congregation stand. Reader. Eternal God, open thou my lips, that my mouth may declare thy praise. Amida. Standing prayer. Read silently. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, who bestoweth, lo bestoweth love and kindness, who remember the good deeds of our forefathers, and who will bring a redeemer to their children's children for the sake of thy name. Remember us to life, O King, inscribe to us in the book of life for thy sake, O ever-living God. Blessed art thou, O Lord, shield of Abraham, thou art mighty forever, thou revives the dead, thou art powerful to save, thou sustain the living, support the falling, Healing the sick, set the captives free, and keep faith in those keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like thee, O Lord our God? Thou art holy, and thy name is holy, and holy beings praise thee daily, for there is no God but thee. Thou, Lord our God, hast graciously given us the day of atonement, wherein our iniquities are to be parted and forgiven, a holy festival in remembrance of the Exodus from Egypt. Our God and God of our fathers, pardon our iniquities on this day of atonement. Blot out and remove our transgressions and sins from thy sight, as it is said. I will forgive their iniquity, their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. On this day shall atonement be made to cleanse you from all your sins. Shall you be clean before the Lord? O Lord, our God, inscribe thy people of the covenant for a happy life. Grant abundant peace to Israel, thy people forever. For thou art the king and Lord of peace. May we and all Israel, thy people, be remembered and inscribed before thee in the book of life for prosperity, for blessing, and for peace. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the author of peace. Amen. 
Amen. Reader. Amen. Amen. The ark is closed. Congregation be seated. Song. Reader. We are brazen faced, but thou art merciful and compassionate. We are stiff necked. We are stiff necked, but thou art long suffering. We are full of sin, but thou art full of mercy. As for us, our days are as a shadow, but thou art immutable, and thy years never ending. Our God and God of our fathers, let our prayer come before thee. Hide not thyself from our supplication, for we are not arrogant and stiff necked that we should say before thee. O Lord, our God and God of our fathers, we are righteous and have not sinned. Verily, we have sinned. Reader and congregation, we have trespassed. We have dealt treacherously. We have robbed. We have spoken slander. We have acted perversely and have wrought wickedness. We have acted presumptuously. We have done violence. We have framed lies. We have counseled evil. We have spoken falsely. We have scoffed. We have provoked. We have rebelled. We have committed iniquity. We have transgressed. We have oppressed. We have been stiff necked. We have acted wickedly. We have corrupted. We have committed abomination. We have gone astray. We have led others astray. We have turned away from thy commandments and thy judgments that are good and it had not profited us. But thou art righteous in all that hath come upon us, for thou acted truthfully. But as for us, we have done wickedly. We have acted wickedly and have transgressed. Wherefore, we have not been saved. O oh, incline our hearts to forsake the path of wickedness, and hasten thy salvation unto us, as it is written by the hand of thy prophet. Let, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and unto God, for he will abundantly pardon. Reader, our God and God of our fathers, forgive and pardon our iniquities on this Sabbath and on this day of atonement. O oh, be thou entreated for us. Forgive our transgressions and our sins, and cause them to pass away before thine eyes. Subdue our hearts to serve thee, and bend our will to turn to thee. Renew our reins to observe thy precepts, and circumcise our hearts to love and revere thy name. As it is written in thy law, and the Lord thy God will circumcise thy heart, and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that thou may live. Song. Scripture. Reader opens the ark after scripture. Congregation stand. Song. During song, reader and choir still close the ark, then the holy of holies. Congregation be seated. Sermon. Song. The Mizpah. Afternoon service for Yom Kippur. Reader and choir still open the holies of holies, then the ark. Congregation stand. Reader and choir still return to their podiums. Song. From the ends of the earth. Stand still and see the salvation of God. Responsive reading. Reader and congregation. Lord, our God, hear our cry. Spare us. Have mercy and accept our prayer. Turn us to thee, O Lord. Renew our days as of old. Give heed to our words, O Lord. Consider thou our meditation. May our words and our meditation please thee. O Lord, our protector, cast us not away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Do not cast us off in our old age. When our strength fails, forsake us not. Forsake us not, Lord our God, and keep not far away from us. Show us a sign of favor, despite, despite our foes. Thou, O Lord, hast helped and com comforted us. Thou, O Lord, we are waiting. Thou wilt answer us, Lord our God. Reader, our God and God of our fathers, forsake us not. Nor leave us, cast us not off, nor annul thy covenant with us. Bring us near to thy law, and teach us thy commandments. Show us thy ways, incline our hearts to revere thy name. O purify our hearts that we may merit thy love, and return to thee in truth with a perfect heart, for thy name for thy for thy great name's sake. Pardon and forgive our sins, even as it is written in Holy Scripture. For thy, my, for thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon our iniquity, for it is great. Congregation, our God and God of our fathers, forgive us, pardon us, and grant us atonement. Reader, for we are thy people. Congregation, thou art our God. Reader, we are thy servants. Congregation, thou art master. Reader, we are thy congregation. Congregation, 
thou our portion. Reader, we are thine inheritance. Congregation, thou our lot. Reader, we are thy flock. Congregation, thou our shepherd. Reader, we are thy vineyard. Congregation, thou our keeper. Reader, we are thy work. Congregation, thou our creator. Reader, we are thy faithful. Congregation, thou our beloved. Reader, we are thy loyal ones. Congregation, thou are our Lord. Reader, we are thy subjects. Congregation, thou our king. Reader and congregation, we are thy devoted people, and thou our exalted God. The ark is closed. Congregation, be seated. Song, come by here, Lord. Reader and congregation, remember unto us the covenant of the patriarchs. Reader, and I will remember my covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob, and I will remember the land. Congregation, remember unto us the covenant of our ancestors. Reader, and I will, for their sake, remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt, and the side of the nations, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. Congregation, deal with us according to the promise in scriptures. Reader, and even when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away, neither will I abhor them, to destroy them utterly and break my covenant with them, for I am the Lord their God. Congregation, have mercy upon us and destroy us not. Reader, for the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will not forsake you, neither he will destroy you, nor forget the covenant made with their made with your fathers. Congregation, purify our hearts to love and revere thy, na thy name. Reader, and the Lord your God will incline your heart and the heart of your seed to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul that you may live. Congregation, O be thou with us to guide our paths. All right, y'all, so there you have it. That is the continued reading of the prayer book with hymns, songs, poetry, and dedication to the Lord for different celebrations and feasts, such as Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah, you know, things of that nature. So it's always important to give all the glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to remember all the things that he's done for us, to remember how he got us through situations, how he continues to get, go, um, go get us through these things that we're going through, how he keeps his promises, how he keeps his covenants, amen? So... There you have it, y'all, right? We're almost done with that prayer book series. And then it'll just be like church notes and it'll be news weekly, um, weekly news roundups. All right. Because um, I'm shifting into a different season again, into different types of uh, activities. So the messages might be a bit more brief and shorter here on out, but still going to rock it out for the Lord. Amen. So there you have it, y'all. What I would love to do as I close out is give all the glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. So here we go. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. He is the Adam, the second Adam. He is the advocate, the almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, the Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer. The wonderful counselor, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father. Yes, God is with us. The faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, the first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory. The horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal, the king of Israel, 
Amen. He is the King of Kings. Hallelujah. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, King of Saints, King of the Ages, King of the Jews, the King, the Lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the light of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, 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 Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Hayashah, Yahweh, Yeshua, HaMashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Yes, Yahuwah, Elohim, the consuming fire, the father of the fatherless, the father of lights. Yes, the sufficient one, the sustainer. Yes, the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten Son of God, our great God, our Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the Prince of Kings, the Prince of Life, the Prince of Peace, the Prophet, the Redeemer, the Resurrection of Life, the Revelator, the Revelation. Yes, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the perfect example, the rule of the kings of the earth, the great physician, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shalom, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the way. Yes, he is the truth. Yes, he is the way, truth and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word. The word of God, the word of Yah, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yahawashai, the word of Yahuwah. Yes, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, yes, we touch and agree. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We are in agreement with the covenant and the promises of the Most High. Yes, we serve an awesome creator and the Son is amazing for dying for our sins. Amen. We are into true gospel and sound doctrine. Hallelujah. We worship the Lord in truth and spirit. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. We touch and agree in the authority and the power name of Jesus Christ. You are healed, renewed, restored. You are loved. You are you you got mercy over your life. You got favor. You have stability. Yes, you have strength. You have peace. You have love. You have joy all because of the Lord. Amen. The joy of the Lord is your strength. All right. Yes. Yes. Amen. So just wanted to speak that. All right. So that was just a continued reading of the prayer book. And that's that. You know, I just hope that everybody becomes a new creature in Christ. And I just hope that everybody becomes born again. All right. So there you have it, y'all. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized. You start your life forth from the most high. I pray that you repent and have new beginnings. I pray that your personal life gets better. And I just hope that you take it day by day from here on as you get more wisdom and you get more strength. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.